Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is still your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. As usual, we are starting off with the gold daily chart, and we can see the descending wedge that we kind of showed in yesterday. More importantly, our range is staying intact. We still have not broken above this downtrend line. We can see though, uh, as we came down to the 1790, we did break through it, but our buyers did come in and pull us up. And you can see once again, the volume start to accumulate there. And so there's certainly some volume support in this 1790 range. We can also see that we may have some trouble getting above 1820. But more importantly here on the daily, we have our downtrend line that we're watching. We have our support that we're watching. That is a descending wedge. And we'll have to see whether or not uh, the bears or the bulls will break us out of this range. So a weak uh, gold means what to our, our currency pairs? Starting off with the euro dollar. And we can see once we broke through our long-term support, we're now making our way back to it. So you can see this range is powerful, very powerful. And even though we broke out of it a little bit here, we broke out of it. And if I drag a little bit over here, a little bit more, you can see back in April we broke out of it. But more importantly, right here, but more importantly, we came right back into it. Right back into it. And so uh, it looks like the buyers are finally stepping up and bringing us back to it. Now, what was one support is now resistance. So we'll see whether or not we can break through it. And the 200 and the moving averages are coming down here. So this 1.4 price level is going to be key as we get up there. But as far as our long term time frame, on the one hour, we can see we're in neutral. Uh, we're still below our long-term moving average, but we are in a neutral zone. Uh, the euro is still in control, which is allows us to make this move. And we got this big spike with a little divergence. We got a little space between the euro and the dollar. And we can see that the euro is starting to average up a little bit while that dollar still goes sideways. But we can factually see on our indicator that the sellers may be taking control here, uh, which may help a stop here at the neutral zone and breathe a little bit. I don't know if we'll come all the way back down to this trend line. Uh, there may be a new one uh, that we could draw up inside here. Uh, I will watch our shorter time frame here also. So what we have to watch is our buyers found value and now as we come into what was one support now resistance we have to watch whether or not uh, the sellers come in and find value there. The pound dollar. Here we can see that uh, the buyers have come through and held 1.57. We matched it up both with this wick and with the wicks back over here from January. So uh, it's going to be interesting here as we get back to 1.59. You can see as we rose up, we actually fell back, right back. So uh, the sellers may be defending this 1.59. We'll have to see. But we can see that we're just fractionally in the buy zone. Uh, we're still below our long-term moving average here. And but the dollar is in control here, and that's what's uh, brought us back down and potentially lower once the dollar took control. Uh, basically, though, you can see here they're basically parallel moving over top of each other, which got our sideways action. And we can see they're both really trending down, moving sideways, trending down, moving sideways, and the sellers are in control on our indicator. So this, you know, this lends to going lower and retesting. Uh, 1.57 here on the daily, but we'll have to see. Finally, we'll look at the dollar franc, 
and we can see uh, the the resistance holding up here at 0.89 that moved back with this swing high right here we also of course had that mixed in with the 200 moving average and we're continuing to pull back so now we'll have to see if the buyers will defend 0.8538 here we can see we're still in uh, actually I think we're in an, uh, a sell zone here still just a little bit just a little bit uh, and that's going to happen also because the franc is still in control but as they come together you can see we're going sideways if the dollar takes control price action will move higher uh, what's going to prevent that? Well, we can see that the franc is starting to trend up a little bit back above its long term moving average while the dollar is trending down, staying below its long term moving average. And we can see fractionally the buyers are in control. As we move to our watch list for Friday, we're starting off with our low volatility watch list, which is our one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands, watching the high and, low, high and low bands and watching for a break preferably in the direction of the trend and for Friday we'll be watching the dollar yen and the pound yen our inside bar watch list is where we watch today's range as compared to yesterday and if it's inside of yesterday's range we're looking for a break and we'll be watching the Aussie dollar as we move to the education spotlight of our video we're talking about what holds us up from being a successful trader and we were talking about creating a trading plan so as we talked about yesterday, if it was as simple as just creating a trading plan and following it, you know, uh, everybody would be rich. But however, the devil's in the details. And as we've talked about so many times, there are a lot of psychological factors that can cause a person to deviate from their system. And most of those are all fears. Fear of losing, fear of being wrong, fear of losing their money, fear of the unknown. And so that fear causes them to move away from what they documented would work. They know it will work because they documented it. They proven it. They back tested it. But their fears and their emotions take over and they deviate from what they know will work. And then they mess up the, the numbers. You know, once you deviate from the plan, you're no longer using the plan. And therefore, uh, the plan doesn't work. And that's when you see time and time again the uh, trade stop you out and immediately go in the other direction so we know that you can find us on Facebook YouTube and Twitter our page on Facebook is are you financially literate we also have our free resources for you we have our free five course video course where we focus on high probability trading we help you develop your own high probability trading steps and what constitutes and believe you me when I say we keep it simple because simple is what you need to be a high probability trader we also hope that that will give you an insight into who we are as coaches, uh, where we can help you not only document your trading system, but give you the trader's mindset and the discipline to follow it consistently to the letter, day after day after day. Get paid to trade for our Forex traders. We can get you rebates for your Forex trade. It doesn't change the conditions. It doesn't change the spreads. There's rebates, rebates for your trades. And finally, if you're looking for signals, we can get those for you. We have a bunch of providers. Find the one that matches who you are, matches your trading plan, so that you can follow it because it's been documented and you can follow it because you have, through our coaching, developed a trader's mindset. Have it trade automatically or get the singles and trade them for yourself. So, it's, it doesn't make a difference about the system, the indicator, or the room that you're in. It doesn't make a difference if you document the trade. It doesn't matter if you back, trade, back test the trade if you can't pull the trigger or if you deviate from the system. Trading is all about coming up with a system and following that system day after day without fail. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.